guys welcome to today's video today will be a special one that i will always hold near and dear to my heart because it will be my last baby's first birthday we're all so excited to celebrate with him so glad i got to capture these moments so i invite you to come hang out and celebrate with us disclaimer I've never made a cake like this before I usually just buy them from the store or um, I actually have a lady I order them from and she does amazing work but for his theme I wanted it to be a naked cake um, it was still harder than I thought it would be but still fun to make and I, um, I, I think the kids enjoyed it they enjoyed all the sugar anyway <laughs> birthdays. I just figured I'd give it a shot. This is actually the day before my son's birthday when I was um, decorating and baking and making the cake and uh, we just got back from church so we were relaxing. I love how my daughter um, kept coming to check on me. Well, at least I thought she was checking on me anyways. But she was actually coming just to get some icing every single time. So after I did the cake, I uh, put together this monthly picture banner. And this was probably my favorite uh, decoration. I love how you can just see his little face change from being a tiny baby to like what he is now. It's just crazy and amazing how much they grow and they change. So next I'm just going to make some little goodie bags. Um, I just put little animal crackers in them. It's funny because these goodie bags are just for my other two kids since this was a really small family party. getting his birthday banner ready. I love that I captured this next clip. He's learning to walk and I just love seeing his little legs move so fast. They're so cute. Next, my daughter and I wanted to try to make some cake pops. Um, it was a lot of firsts for this birthday. I never made a cake, we never made cake pops before, but you know, why not? We just wanted to try it all. And of course, here goes my son to check out what kind of sugar goodies we got going on here. Once he comes, and the baby comes, and then my husband comes, and everyone just had to try it. Thank you. 
don't worry, he gets to try some too. Now I'm going to get started on the balloons. And of course my son wanted to join me on this part. So initially I didn't want to do the balloons because for some reason they dry out my hands so bad. But once I was starting to buy all of the decorations, I saw this on Etsy and I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it was so cute and of course it tied everything together. Next, Isaac wanted to help me paint some decorations and I love that I caught his little smile. I'm going to finish making this balloon garland and next you will see how I usually decorate for my kids' birthdays. And my husband is always a good sport and helps me decorate. I did notice my balloon garland was like really uneven. For an easy fix, I just popped some balloons out and traded them out. So I bought a high chair banner and it didn't fit. It was too big or either I printed it too big. Um, instead of just tossing it, I just went ahead and added an extra little banner in front of the table. So now I'm just putting up the little monthly uh, photo banner that I was making earlier in the video. Me and my husband were talking about how with our seven-year-old, we could do this um, for her birthday, but it would be in years instead. And it's just crazy how much time flies by. It always reminds me of the saying that, you know, the days are long, but the years are so, so short. And I feel like that's so true. just adding the last details for the decorations just some confetti around the table and on this little time capsule area and then I went ahead and laid out the little goodie bags Happy birthday, little Teo. Happy birthday, 
Happy birthday to you. watching. I hope you enjoyed celebrating with us. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.